A 10-year-old girl from San Ramon has reached a major milestone in her courageous battle against osteosarcoma. We've been following the progress of Brianne Bohenic, who was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer about 10 months ago. And tonight, KTV's Julie Hayner has an update on how she's doing now and also some exciting news that she received stemming from her long recovery. Making her way in on crutches, Brianne Bohenic is entering an important new phase in her fight against cancer. The Bohenic family says this is one medical appointment they're looking forward to. We are ready. After having her left leg amputated above the knee in January, Breezy, as she likes to be called, is about to be fitted for her first prosthetic leg. I'm just really glad everything gets to get started. I mean, eventually it's going to be really worth it. Okay, let's have you stand up, okay? There you go. Glenn Ellis has been making prosthetics for nearly 20 years. And on this day, he's beginning the process of giving Breezy the ability to walk and run again on her own. The big goal is to be able to walk for the first day of fifth grade without crutches. With mom and dad looking on, Ellis begins wrapping Breezy's limb in plaster of Paris. He then applies pressure near the top of the cast, helping to mold the plaster around Breezy's tiny body. Doing okay, young lady? Mm -hmm. It's not an easy transformation going from plaster to plastic to prosthetic. Ellis says this is when his artistry takes over with the sole purpose of creating a piece of art tailor-made for Breezy. It might be a little uncomfortable, and that's something we just work through, but if it's starting to hurt, I can stop, okay? The mold is carefully designed, so Breezy's weight rests at the top rather than the bottom. Doctors don't want any pressure on the end of her limb until her bone is completely healed. For her first fitting, it's coming out better than I expected. But a few more adjustments need to be made. All the while, Breezy keeps up her good sense of humor. <laughs> When the Bohenics return for their final appointment, the prosthetic is ready to go. It's fitted with Breezy's tennis shoe and decorated with her favorite color and an inspirational quote. But in order to walk out the door, Breezy needs a lesson in how to use it. Learning to walk with her prosthetic leg will take practice and time. Is it wobbly or is it pretty strong? It's strong, yeah. but I can always feel it when it clicks. Even though it's going to take some getting used to, one word comes to mind when you ask Breezy what she thinks about her new device. It's just excitement. It's overall kind of just a, a real good feeling as a parent, knowing that she gets something that's uh, pretty huge, at the you know, some payoff at the end of some challenging times. For a young girl who's endured nearly 10 months of chemotherapy and the loss of her leg, the Bohenics say Breezy finally has something positive to look forward to. The chance to head back to school next month with her fifth grade classmates. Just to walk in without my crutches, I mean, I think that's not going to be too hard. I just need to make sure I have balance. The Bohenics say once Breezy makes up her mind to do something, she's determined to get there, even if it's one step at a time. We're just uh, looking forward to the future. She's got a bright future. And the Bohenics have extra reason to celebrate tonight. Just today, Brianne received great news from her doctors at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital in Palo Alto. The results of a final round of scans and tests show no sign of cancer. But for the next year, Breezy will return to Stanford for monthly follow-ups. I'm Julie Hayner, KTVU, Channel 2 News.